Okay, today's video is all about our dreaded cleaning the garage. I know, I love to organize, and, and the, you know, this is, <laughs> this is something that I love to do, but yet the garage is not something I love <laughs> to do. So I understand, it's not a glamorous job. That's why I, I'm just today, this is just my normal day, I'm, I'm filming this for you, the, the intro, but that's why I didn't film, you know, actually cleaning out the garage and all that kind of stuff, trying to, you know, have makeup on and stuff, because it's not, this is real life, ladies and gentlemen. This is not glamorous, uh, cleaning and, and organizing your garage, I get that. So, but it's a necessity and it's something that makes you, once you do it, you feel so much better and so accomplished and, you know, you're getting rid of stuff, you're, you know, everything that you do have, it's easy to get, you know, to your fingers, you're, you're you know what I mean, it's just, and it looks nice and it's just, it's great. Um, but it's not fun and I get it, it's not fun, but, Again, once you do it, you do, you feel so much better. So basically what I'm going to do is take you through the day of cleaning out the garage. I had a, somebody that helps me around the house help me with this for the lifting because I can't do that. Um, and then, you know, asking the kids, what is this? What is that? We pretty much got most of my son's stuff out of here, but there was a few questions that I had of, of stuff that he, it was here of his. Um, but, you know, I mean, it was an all day project, all day, and it will be. And sometimes, if you've never organized your garage, mine is, or, mine is has an organization set up, okay? So, and it took all day. Now, if you don't have that, it might be a two, three day project just to get everything, you know, under, under control and everything. Um, but I do recommend that once a year you try doing this just because I know in, for myself, you know, we've got shelving units and things just get put on the shelving unit. Oh, we don't know where this goes, we just set it there. So once a year is a great time to go through and just refresh. If you've got the system down, then you just refresh and that makes it a lot easier. Um, especially after Christmas with so many decorations coming in and out, it was a good time for me to go through, get, get rid of, uh, donate. Uh, we, we are having a garage sale, which I mentioned in the video. Um, so. On the other side of this garage is my smaller garage. It's just like a one one car garage. Um, is where we're holding all the stuff for that we're selling. So it doesn't exactly look so clean, but it, it is organized and cleaned out. It's, we we just have to have the garage sell and sell the stuff that needs to be sold. So you know there are tricks and tips which I explain. Go through, get everything out, bring everything out, then go through each bin or go through each thing, put it back the way you want it, set it up that way, label it, so that when you're going to put things away that you are putting them in the right location. That's key. Uh, nice clear labeling so that anybody can see it is also very important. And designating a spot for everything. That's the key to organization no matter where you are. Um, Having nice uh, shelving, whether it's built into the wall or I use the origami, um, which you can move around, it's movable. And you know, if I wanna change how I do some, I just move the, the shelving away. Um, and just really know that the day is not gonna be fun, but you know, you're just gonna go in and you're gonna get it done and you're gonna feel so much better when you're done. Uh, and that you're going to bless other people, you know, because if you donate or, or you have a garage sale, people are going to be able to get some of these items that they're needing and wanting, and, and that's a blessing. So um, it's all good, you know, just, uh, you know, just get in and do it. That's my biggest thing. You know, you put it off, you put it off, you put it off. For me, January is all about going through everything, getting everything reorganized, getting everything re put back together after the whole year and the garage is no different. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you can see that it can be done, you can do it, I've got faith in you and you'll feel so much better.
So this is our pile for the garage sale. This is how you do it. You just get rid of what you do not need. So this is the um, shelving unit that is right by the back uh, garage door. So this is all stuff that we use quite often. So I've got, you know, a, a smaller cooler. I think this is one of my kids' safety vests <laughs> from work. This is all, you know, miscellaneous tools, screwdrivers, that kind of stuff. Um, the garbage, the black garbage bins. Uh, this is just some extra stuff I'll probably get rid of, but here's, you know, various nails, uh, electrical supply, tapes, battery organizer, zip ties. These are all of our um, uh, drills and, and bits and just different stuff like that. Um, this is, we have a dolly here. Here is our extra, you know, chairs, tents, that kind of stuff. This, let me turn the light on. These are extra chairs in here. This is kind of my entertainment closet here out in the garage. And it's where I keep all of my party supply, extra um, paper towel, or uh, paper napkins, and plates and all that kind of stuff. This is as you um, come in, this is our back door. So right here I have all of my cleaning supplies, or, you know, like broom, mop, all that kind of stuff, easily ready to go right outside the door. This is Command Central. This is like all our batteries, uh, screwdrivers, uh, nails, um, you know, uh, extension cords, our drills, all that kind of stuff right at the back door. Okay, and then this is just, we have a dolly here that I keep close, um, our uh, ladder that I have close by the back door. This is where our hot water heater and one of our um, AC and heat units are. But this is also where I keep all of my, all of the extra entertaining. So it's close by the back door and I just have a nice, a nice place to keep everything. I'm also going to be putting all my extra decor right here bin that is stuff that I'm not going to get rid of but I'm not using at this point. So look how nice and clean this is. It's so exciting. This is also by the back door. This is all my overflow of, um, you know, uh, Instapot, some extra fans, big uh, fry pans, uh, the, oh God. Okay, so here's the crock pots, um, you know, electrical stuff, all the light bulbs, that kind of stuff, bread machine chafing dishes, all that kind of stuff. Right easy at the back door. Have my extra fridge and freezer, my big freezer. Um, this is one of the um, units here that has all our paint. Car washing is at the top. Paint supplies is all the way down. Extra luggage, yoga mats. This starts decor. So this is all Easter. Oh. This guy fell off. There we go. Easter decor. And then 4th of July. Now from this view, it doesn't look like this is cleaned out at all. And I get that. But guess what it is. <laughs> this all is stuff that is going to be sold. We actually tried to get this down in the basement for my mom to use, and we can't get it to fit. So this is being sold, the chair is being sold, the exercise machine is being sold, tires are being <laughs> sold, uh, and then all of that in this corner is garage sale, so all of it's going. So actually everything that's out here, for the most part, is being sold. 
this is stuff of my dad's that we're going to be going through. Uh, this is all stuff of, of my dad's that we'll go through. But as you can see, here is Chris. Well, actually, that's not Christmas. That's my son's. But everything is labeled. Okay, so that is all organized. And everything over here up on the shelves, that's all Christmas. It's organized. It's ready to go. These aren't or these aren't labeled, but you know, we know exactly what that is. But, you know, everything is in one spot. It has its location. Uh, everything back in those cabinets is the same thing. It's all Christmas and fall decor, and it is all labeled. So, you know, it really I get that this side does not look so great, but it is organized because this is all being sold. And so it is, it will be all clean. Those are our bikes that, for the kids. So anyhow, this one is not as, as pretty at the moment, but it is, it does feel good. It's all clean, it's organized, it's gone through. Everything for Christmas was gone through and I only have what I'm gonna be using and that feels great. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it helped you. I hope it motivated you to get up there and get your garage all cleaned out. And I know it's a yucky job, but you can do it. And I know you can, and you're gonna feel so much better afterwards. So I hope that you enjoy this. We are all the month of uh, January, all about organizing and getting everything really cleaned up. I am going to be having a Valentine's decorating video coming up next, I believe. Uh, if it's not that, it's the bathroom makeover. Um, I redid my powder room and it's just so cute. And it just, you know, that's what I'm about. I was trying to let you guys know about some easy ways to really make a big impact in your home. And it doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you, like I said, some inspiration. Um, I would love to have you join our family if you are not already subscribed and hit that subscription button below and the notification bell because I do post on Wednesdays, but you never know. I may have a bonus one coming out, so I want you to make sure and be notified. And um, please tag me on some pictures. I am over on Instagram too, Heart and Soul Home. And uh, show me either below or on Instagram some of your organizing um, and decorating hacks. I'd love to see what you guys are doing. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.